Similance. Similance. And welcome back to Whiskey Politics Podcast at ricochet.com. We're also all over the internet. You can find them on your podcast of choice. And I am sitting here to my right with the great Kurt Schlichter from townhall.com. Great Kurt Schlichter. And to his right, and looking ever so dapper, is Tony Katz. Great Kurt Schlichter. (laughs) Kurt Schlichter. That's... 93.1 93.1 FM out of Indianapolis. And what is that? WIBC? That is WIBC, the one and only, the mighty, the, the great, only. the great. What do you guys think, man? We're, we're sitting here at CPAC. It's the second, uh, second post-Trump election CPAC. What are you guys thinking about it all? Uh, look, the uh, sexual energy around here is incredible. Sorry, uh, amped, up, <laughs> a- amped up to a fever pitch by the presence of Tony Katz. I'm it's, very good. It, it's that jacket. This jacket's good. This is that's no. This is not a houndstooth. No, no. This is very, you, very you, close to a bomba taupe. Do you want to see my jacket? A bomba taupe. You want to see my jacket fail? I like bomba taupe. Obama taupe. I slammed my closet on my my buttons. Look at that. All my buttons are broken. It looks. I mean, wow. it looks like. Uh, it, 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 it looks like a Democrat's. I I think sometimes <laughs> you you get a good good real find, then you should run with it. Well, you know. Good on you. All right. So besides the ex, uh, the sexual energy coming here, what are you thinking? I, I mean, Trump spoke this morning. He did, and he had a ninety minute stem winder. He rocked the house and perpetrated. He slayed all suckers state to state. And <laughs> well, you can't deny the logic. Yeah, it's, he, it's he all slayed all suckers state to state. To state. state. That's Kurt Schlichter. You guys together. Wow. This is magic, man. It's like the Beatles reuniting. Yeah, Ace right. Ringo. Yeah. Dude, man, Ring, Ringo, Ringo got as much cash. Yeah, he got the cash and the girls. What's the problem? That is what? true. He needed to be Lennon. I need to be a star. Spend his life with Yoko. I'll pass, son. Look, I'm not a Yoko. I'm okay? not a Lennon she guy. Imagine the all the annoyance. I was, I was I was thinking more McCartney. He's kind of got an amiable no, he doesn't. Friendliness. You know McCartney's a prick in real life, right? No, he's cool. First row. Oh, no, stop it, man. Yeah, he's Please, stop. Lennon, that, don't wait, ever. He's wait, not, does that hurt you? Lennon's turning around right now. Lennon, was, Lennon was terrible. Yeah. But yeah. What, 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 Paul McCartney is a nice guy. Oh, stop it. Oh, he looks not like a nice stop guy. Stop it. It's not like a not party true. with him. Not much anymore. Not true. He, they're, they're not a nice guy. Totally self-important. Totally self-indulgent. Thinks he is the band. Thinks he was the everything. Cuckoo, cuckoo, and shut up. I'm not sure any of that's a thing. Oh, totally a thing. No. Wow. Totally wow. a thing. I don't think that's You a never thing. got that vibe off Paul McCartney? No, I thought Paul He's McCartney was like, oh, so how you do it? Let's have a pint. So it's a it's royalty. I'm going it to take Ringo in and give him a Lord. job. Otherwise, Johnny, he's out on the street. Johnny Rotten isn't quite at that level yet. Johnny uh, Rotten. But, uh, says you. Johnny Rotten. <laughs> Not America. <laughs> I am the Antichrist. I am an Antichrist. You we know what I want, Trump, you know how to get it. About 90 seconds to Antichrist. So... The circle is complete. That, we, we, we could host a show on MSNBC. That's how fast you could do that. I'm over there, and she's, like, freaked out by it. She's Matt like, what the hell are they doing? Oh, wait, what do we think of CPAC? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. We're like, I, I will give you the, oh, the only thing that I've noticed. The, the energy is... Okay, guys, honestly... Chocolate? Okay, hold on. First of all, the energy is not at full-level sexual chocolate, right? Oh, it is uh, not you know It is just, not a coming to America level. You know level. we have, like, the Catholic <laughs> network right next to us, and I'm singing, you know... Uh, <laughs> I'm singing Anarchy in the UK about the Antichrist, and somebody comes over and she's like, Ixnay on the, uh, Ixnay yeah. on the Christiante A, which is Latin. Uh, yes. So, I was, I was going to seriously answer the question. So, totally on, why? Because these are important no. times, and Ricochet is an important place for important discussions that are important. You're drinking of pr- proverbial whiskey right now, by the way. Can I tell you, you're sitting with two-thirds well, attractive and targeted? Is, if this is so whiskey I, I, you politics, know what? where anyway, is the whiskey? Did he move back to Phoenix? Who's he, the whiskey? He's in... Uh, 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 Sussman's the whiskey. What are you talking about? No, I won't, I, 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 I'm just thinking. This is whiskey politics. No, he is the whiskey, and then you drink him down. It's a metaphor. I don't It's do a. Metaphor. It's, uh, it's uh, metaphorical uh, whiskey. Uh, that's, that's how that works. Uh, right. Cruiser, Did you not understand? I, I, I that? believe Cruiser has moved uh, to Phoenix. Arizona. Yeah. yeah, yeah, moving back to Arizona. Uh, he, I, I believe he's in Tucson. Yeah, he's not, in not one of Phoenix. those places. I don't know the difference. Is there a difference between so Tucson so and Phoenix? So this is Track and Track and Target. Right, Track okay. and Target. <laughs> that's totally that's fine. That's the French band. I'm Philippe. <laughs> this is Guillaume. We have a sale on and who on, on on panties at the Target. Yeah, at the All right, tars. speaking of panties, the Target. 
Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying focused. So what do you – seriously, okay, guys, a little bit of politics. What, we, what we're talking about right now, Mr. – you know, creating the, the, the proverbial wokeness through uh, Town Hall here and what you guys are talking about on, on your radio show, you know, I'm concerned. I'm just going to put this right out there right now. I am deeply concerned that outside of this room right now, the energy may not be there to push us through 2018. Should I be? Uh, uh, that's, uh, that, that is a good question. Look, Donald Trump uh, laid out a template for victory for us. He laid out how we win. And that is, it's very simple. Promises made, promises kept. Same thing I do as a trial lawyer. I go to a jury in my opening statements. I say, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm going to prove A, I'm going to prove B, I'm going to prove C. At the end of the day, I go, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, at the beginning of this case, I told you I was going to prove A, B, and C. Well, A, you saw the videotape of John uh, Smith. B, you saw the document that Joe Blow signed. C, you heard the testimony of Mary Smith, who's related to John Smith. Uh, promises kept, or promises made, promises kept. That is the template. And he went right down it. This is what I promised you to do. I'm doing it. This is a promise I haven't kept yet, but I'm trying and I will. Done. That's, 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 the, the that's, a, template, that's a template for victory if we have people aggressive enough to press it. Uh, unfortunately, we have a lot of simpering femboys like uh, Mario uh, Ru- Marco Rubio yep. who wander into an ambush. Evan! And here's say Evan it. Sayat. Come sit down. He, he wander into an ambush. Evan Sayat, conservative comedian, everybody. How are you? Kurt Schlichter was talking. <laughs> right? He doesn't like to be interrupted. No, I don't like being interrupted. I know Jesus that. H. It wasn't me, it was him. Oh, God, I did again. The Catholic people next well, to us are said like. said simpering femboys, and Evan Sayat comes but, in. But here's. Come here's <laughs> You can't piss off the Catholics because no matter what, they'll have to forgive you. <laughs> you just you just missed this anyway. No, but anyway, there was a thing <laughs> right next to us, and we're you know we're settling. We're being ecumenical here, uh, but the the thing is, Trump is driven to win. Trump, you, what I got out of there is Trump is committed to winning in 2018. He's going to do what it takes, right. and he's going to say, here are the promises I made, here are the promises I kept, here are the benefits you got out of them. And if our guys go along with that template, we win. If we get little uh, uh, you know, squishes like Marco Rubio going, well, yeah, I guess giving up our guns is probably a good idea. If you really want it, will you not hate me anymore? I'm not a man. That, that, that was his Marco Rubio impression. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, foamy. It was. It was. Yeah, it was. It was. Did you like it? It was, it was really detailed. It. It was either and he drank Rubio some water. Or George Takai. Oh, <laughs> good George Kai reference. I do love it's it. Two in an hour, Evan. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You missed us at lunch. Um, I missed the Takai at lunch. So, so let's start with the basic premise uh, that Kurt Schlichter is wrong, <laughs> and and, let, and, let, and let's build from there. Uh, I don't think there is an energy issue here at all. Okay. I will say that the conversations of CPOC, I think, changed after the town hall of CNN. Yes. That absolutely insulting, disgusting display of child abuse. Children use as weapons. Children use the shields. That's dominated the past two days. So there wasn't a conversation really about how you're going to go back and win your district. There wasn't a conversation about how you motivate people. There wasn't a conversation about elect uh, conservatives because you got to deal with Russia, because you got to deal with North Korea, because you got to deal with Syria. There was none of that kind of stuff. There was, holy crap, these people think they're going to tell us about caring about children. Children. We're the ones who care about children from beginning to end. That's the conservative mantra. That's the conservative uh, thesis. Now they're going to pretend they told us we don't want clean air. They told us we don't want clean water. They told us that we're, we're only in, in favor of big business and we're in favor of keeping people poor and pushing grandma off the cliff. And now they want to tell us we don't care about kids? And no, that's no, no, the not moment. just that. You're a murderer. Oh, that's the moment. Game over. Yeah. Everything has changed. For the first time, and you're talking to a couple of Hollywood uh conservatives here who have been experienced have been through this been indoctrinated with it lived through it been around those people this is the moment where the narrative is about to change I think that's what the CPAC is all about and it takes a second to digest that that's what's it and I think the CPAC is really about schmoozing drinking and playing (coughs) cards so I'm not I don't know that we should be talking politics tonight at Evan Sayets ladies and gentlemen right give out the room number again (laughs) exactly (laughs) (laughs) no Tony is absolutely right when he says that Kurt is absolutely wrong Oh, uh, right. <laughs> good lord! I I didn't actually hear the question, so I'm gonna have to just fudge it and pretend I did. But there is a buzz about 
calling us names, and enough is enough. That's the thing is we don't even care anymore that they call us these names because they call Bush was Hitler, Reagan was Hitler, Giuliani was right, Hitler. Right. There's a lot Trump of Hitler, Hitler happening. And everybody's yeah. Hitler except for the mass murderers over in, in Iran. Everybody's Hitler. And, you know, every the, the Jews are committing genocide in, in Israel and Americans are all Hitlers or people on the right. The only people who aren't Hitler are the actual mass murderers out there. So this is this goes back to your conservative woke, right? Yeah, I mean, conservative just, woke. All right, yes. with, with what basically we just said. Screw it. I don't care what they're calling me now. I know what, what I think. We, we, I under, what I we understand that the fact is they're not inviting us to a conversation. They are advocating at us. And if you understand that there, if this is a trial, not a discussion, not a mediation, right. then you understand. If you walk into a uh, mediation and the other person's going into a trial, you are going to lose because the other side is going to uh, attack in a way that leaves you the choice of walking out, fighting back, or losing. And... Unfortunately, for too long, we, we were confused about what it was. And, you know, conservatives would be, oh, well, they, we just need to have a conversation on gun control. Okay, let's find areas where we can agree. You're a fucking murderer. Well, as, well that's uh, as, okay. Let's compromise. How about I only hate a few children? Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's what I said. How are you, when they're calling you Hitler, how are you going to compromise? Are you going to go in the back room and negotiate? Are you I'm just Mussolini? Well, yeah, I, my, my line is, uh, okay, we've decided we're not Hitler, we're just Himmler. Nice. Yeah. Nice. We're, we're him. See the way that worked? Oh, no, I, I caught it. The H's. Yes. I, I know, I caught it. It's a little Let's talk a little more about comedy references. writing. But I, I do right. want to wow. suggest, because one thing the left does extremely well is they make up words that then sound interesting, like, you're woke. Okay, you're woke. I want to make up a word, too. And just don't use that word. Let's make up our own. I'm going to call it awakened. We've been awakened. That's our word. Oh, is that already out there? It's, that is it's it's taken. Enlightened, taken. awakened, woke. Yeah, they're all... How about we, we've been woke? Let's steal their wall. Let's, Let's, Let's take yeah. woke. Let's woke? take it. I'm well, taking it. Right. Take They're not man enough to take it back. Uh, this, look, this is here's the thing that disgusted me today. No, the we, women we, are actually, men enough. Well, we there, there are. We we had, wow. We had. You might want to sit down with the whiskey for that. That was meta. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of liberals today getting on uh, uh, social media telling us about how 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 could you expect a cop to run to the sound of the gunfire when that's only you know his entire purpose for being a cop, and you know, this is how you know it's not an argument because it's so insane that their argument is give up your guns, the police will take care of you, but then it's okay if the police don't because they'd be crazy to do it. But who that's did not the, an who, argument. That's that, that's that's advocacy. Well, it's self-negating well, argument. If you're arguing, it, it is. If you're just advocating and saying whatever is useful at that very moment. But here's, here's another one of their arguments, which is the, the family didn't work. The family knew and didn't help the kid who, the murderer, all right? The school knew and didn't do what they were supposed to do. The local police knew and didn't do what they were supposed to do. The FBI knew and didn't do what they were supposed to do. So all the functions of government have failed, but they want to take away our guns. Yeah, the, the people who didn't fail the are the people, ones that want to strip of their weapons. That's right. The, only, the people, only people who could be successful in actually defending themselves against this kid are the people they want to make defenseless. That's an ugly, ugly scenario, and i got to go back to it because these two are our dismissing what I think is uh, singularly the most important thing to come out of the CPAC. They called Dana Lash a murderer right. on stage. They screamed burn her like it was a yep. Monty Python skit yep. on stage. And they then told us, we don't care about our kids. And this crowd and all over the country, they said, all right, we're done here. We've had enough of you. Yep. Now let's throw an elbow. And I think that when you talk about energy, capitalizing on that is the midterms. You want to call it woke. I think I think it's fun uh, to, to, to play on that word. But Evan's point is absolutely true. Everything they told us was the system that makes us better failed. And when we knew that the end result of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and our base, our very being is taking care of ourselves, they are disgusted by the idea you would even think that. Well, something's got to give. And we already know that government is, is, isn't it. Small government, but not reliance on government. So it's got to be us. And they want to take that away from us. Do you think CNN is it's, actually it's, hurting now, the Democrats? I mean, the way that they've just... Oh, the, God. The if that's come out has been so supportive, obviously, the collusion. Holy cow. Not, but is it now turning on them? Well, like, like Nancy Pelosi's turning on them? Crumbs? Crumbs. Crumbs is destructive, man. Crumbs is beautiful. Crumbs is... I mean, they're giving us... Because, the yeah, look, they will, look yeah. the thing we've right? learned, if we've learned nothing from social media, it is you give them long enough, they will tell you exactly what they really think. Right. 
they will tell you 100%. exactly what they really think. It's, They're desperate to. It's a Rorschach yeah. test for liberals. And, it, and and what you see is really ugly. And as more and more people see it, because everybody's got a Facebook feed. My mom's got a Facebook feed. Grandma's got a Facebook feed. Right. And you're always going to see this stuff come through. Eventually, you, you can't go back to sleep. The silent majority went back to sleep. The uh, tax revolt in the late 70s went back to sleep. The Perot movement, they went back to sleep. They kind of got a little what they wanted and went back to sleep. You can't sleep now. We haven't gotten anything. And they're at us 24-7. They're at us. They always have been at us 24-7. We just didn't notice. I mean, one, one point that, that's made repeatedly in, in my household is that uh, Democrats fight 24-7 all the time. Republicans vote. All right? And once the election is over, but that's not a policies is downstream from culture, to quote right. Andrew Breitbart. Uh, and, and we've got to be fighting it every single day. But I think that this is exactly why Donald Trump was elected. I mean, I wrote an article for Town Hall. You might have seen it, Kurt. I did. It got one or two shares. Yeah, it was he shared. writes one freaking article. It gets like four million shares. <laughs> He's like, Kurt, was that good? Shut up, Evan. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I mean, Every like, day he calls him. Was that good, Kurt? Kurt yeah. it's Come on, Kurt. Tell me it was good. I would, Taste it, it Kurt. Kurt. Taste it and tell me it was good, Kurt. Taste the pain. It's, it's up It's up to 110,000 shares. Is that good, Kurt? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. up to 120,000. Is that good, Kurt? Yeah. Uh, How many fingers am I holding up? But in, in, in he <laughs> fights, I make the argument that in response to Trump, the ma the mainstream media, specifically CNN, could do only two things. Right? They couldn't stand Pat because he was fighting back. Right. All right. So they could do one of two things. They could raise their game and be honest and not make the, these mistakes and not make the, the, the attacks that they make. But they can't do that because if CNN tells the truth, if, if the mainstream media tells the truth, that's the end of the Democratic Party. But they are, though. That's what I'm. That's what I'm asking. So are that's why I'm answering. Game plan. So it's the only other thing they can do is double down on their insanity. Yep. And the more they double down on their insanity, the more obviously insane they are, and they lose more people. And that's where the wokeness thing comes into play. I mean, Kurt's a hundred percent right. That that uh, that uh, one two punch. What? 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 <laughs> uh, I said. I said. <laughs> no tape. What have you done with Tony? No, no, no. What what I said is, my goodness, Evan, that's a lot. Of shares. <laughs> um, that's exactly that's exactly what I said. But the, he take that one-two punch, you know, which goes to Evan's uh, uh, idea of that the progressives not only wrong, they're as wrong as wrong can be. Diametrically right? opposed yeah, to the truth. Yeah. And then take a look at what Kurt's saying about the idea of be woke, being aware of exactly that thing. They've gone crazy. That's that is absolutely what's happened. And just to, to punctuate that point. And their craziness isn't working. Donald Trump's approval rating is something like... It's 50%. It's, it's higher right. than, than Obama's and was it's, at this it's time. 50%. Right. Now, so all of this, after a year and a half or more of nonstop, they're failing. Since they can't go high ground and start telling the truth, right. they only, the only thing they can do is become even more insane. And every time they do, they lose more. So it's, what does that look like in a couple of years from now? I mean... Let's say we get through the election and we lose 10 seats, which is what a lot of people are now talking about. 10 right. seats what? In the Senate? In, in, in the, the House. In, in the House? No, no, in the House. We keep, we keep things. But the CNN continues. What, does that, what happens to the Democratic Party under that? This is, good, this is a good case scenario. I, look, I, I, I think uh, CNN is uh, going to have diminishing returns. I, I, I'm walking through the airport yesterday. I look over. CNN's on and no one is. I mean, literally no one is right. watching. Uh, I think the CNN fans um, uh, are, are limited and they're self-selecting, and this is reinforcing them. The, the problem for them is it reinforces bad tactics, and it doesn't allow them to do what they need. To, what they need to do is something along the lines of what they did in 2006, which is pretend to be more moderate, reach out uh, by running candidates who have a more moderate background. Like this guy in Pennsylvania is a Marine. He says he's pro-life. He says he's pro-gun. Now, as soon as he gets in, he's not going to be any of those things. But he's running like that. And that's what they yeah, really he'll be, need he'll, to do. He'll be whipped into order. I mean, well, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. that's what they need to do on a large scale. But I don't, and they I don't, can't think, do I don't it. think they can't do it. No, they can't do it anymore because they have changed from these policies are bad to practitioners are evil. So if you're pro-life, you're not just, well, he's wrong on this policy. He's actually evil. He's evil. I mean, as, as 
I say in my book, The Kindergarten of Eden, How the Modern Liberal Thinks, which is sold. On Amazon. On Amazon. How many? Well, <laughs> tens and tens and tens of thousands of copies. Is that good, Kurt? Uh, yeah. a, not quite as many as mine, but it's good. <laughs> yeah. um, I forgot my point now. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about our books. Yeah, that's right. We're talking my about books, Indian Country and People's Republic. Indian Country and People's Republic. By the way, I got a deal you with Hachette. I just wrote my uh, Radical Normals. Love it. The manuscript is in. My editor says it's brilliant, but I haven't finished. You could still screw it up. Uh-huh. So we'll find out yeah, if that's you like coming that. out. Yeah, yeah, that'll come out fall probably. In the fall. I yeah, don't okay. have a date yet, but you should uh, organize your life around it. And not only don't I have a date yet, I don't have a book yet. Yeah. So, but as nice. soon as I have a book, I'll have a date. And Tony and I will write a book soon. Yeah. This is very Tony, much. You are going on a date. This is very much <laughs> the the equivalent of. Uh, do, do you like it, David? Can, can I put it on the refrigerator? Can I? Can I please? Can I? <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> a lot of crayons. Better have a big fridge. Right, but as I say in the book, The Kindergarten of Eden, How the Modern Liberal Thinks. Available on Amazon. Available on Amazon. <laughs> you are not just wrong to, to the Democrats. You are evil. And the way Thomas Sowell said it before I stole it from him is, is you're not only in error, you are in sin. To disagree with the Democrats makes you not merely in error. Okay. You, you are in sin. Last question for you because I know you got to think. All right. How he do we have a thing? What thing? I know. I what thing? thing? This is what? The, honestly, seriously. this is the whiskey politics and this podcast. Isn't really the last what question. thing do you Have think you, you have? have? To meet with Deborah Saunders. Oh. Hi, Deborah. Oh. How are you? <laughs> I know Kurt needs to meet with you, but we're not done with him yet. We'll yeah. Soon, though. Just right, so one, we he appreciate you. one more question. So is this, is one she, last question. Wait, where, where is she, she from? Is a, she's the thing. She was a uh, uh, San Francisco Examiner. Oh, very nice. And then uh, got the hell out of there. Why are we right? talking about her? We're on the. You're in Las Vegas. I got a book. <laughs> ah, okay. Las Vegas Street Journal. Great. Last question for you that's, guys. That's very right. nice. Going back to what you were talking about, talking about being woke. We're aware of this, okay? We also know many of us may know liberals, especially if you're in California. What do we say to them now? How do we get them to at least open their eyes a bit? I usually say I'd like extra fries. <laughs> uh, right. Look, I, I look. I, right. I, I, I I'm in a point where I don't argue with liberals anymore. I argue for money in court. Uh, it is pointless to argue with liberals because you're not having a conversation. You are they, they are advocating at you, and I don't particularly want to advocate at them because I don't. I, I see it as uh, not worth my very valuable time. Uh, so I am going since I'm a corporate lawyer in uh, Los Angeles, and the kind of laws that they make. Uh, provide lots of. Oh, lawsuits. you're a lawyer. Uh, yeah, I know. Who knew? Huh. Uh, I, I plan <laughs> to. Uh, I plan to exploit that to its maximum. Take huh. my money and leave California because the hell with it. Hmm. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I um, slightly. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. No, I please. slightly disagree with Kurt. You're not 100 percent wrong. I'd, I'd say about 93. percent Thank wrong. you. No, Thank you. How many shares you got? Here's here's why. Oh, is that good? Yes, it's good. Okay. Uh, I don't argue with liberals, and in fact, we shouldn't argue with liberals, but for a different reason. We, one mistake that we make is we try to make everything a teachable moment. We figure that if we just, it's so obvious that we're right, we're so completely right, the left is so completely wrong, we think we're talking to adults, and if we just explained it to them, they'd get it. But they don't, because they're children. They, and just like with a child, you don't make everything a teachable moment. So I have fun with your liberal friends, if you, if you have any left. Uh, have fun with your, your family if they're liberal. But every once in a while, just like with a child, when they do or say something egregious, when they say, I can't believe that guy made that video that got our ambassador killed, then you spank him. Then you just lay out the facts for him and you move on. And what happens is somewhere along the way, something comes along to change people. Because I don't know about you guys, I was on the left. Right? My family, my mother and my sister was on the le- were on the left, and they are now on our side. Dennis Prager was on the left. David Mamet was on the left. David Horowitz. Yep. Something happens. You have to be named David. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dennis Miller, Dennis Prager. Dennis or David? Or just a D. Oh, just, yeah. just a D. But uh, something does change you. Yeah, and and one thing D. that I think won the election for, for President Trump this time was the actual tangible Delight. letters people Delight. got with their premium skyrocketing, with their Obamacare. Yep. They were promised one thing by the media and by the left, and they were lied to. And when that tangible... Re- and this coming election, they were lied to about what the tax cuts would do. But when they're holding in their hand that physical paycheck stub that says, yeah, I got a couple extra crumbs, thank God, because we needed those crumbs. You know, we, we the, that $85 every two weeks is actually a big deal to a lot of people. 
It's a big deal to me. I like that that right? It's a big deal to me. I can actually yeah. fill half a tank of gas in L.A. Nice. And yeah. I would tell you that it depends on who your audience is. Okay. Because the person who is most screaming at you, that, that progressive, that's not the person you're trying to reach. It's anybody who's around who's following the conversation. Keep your cool. Keep your head. Lay it out as you would see fit. You don't have to match their level of crazy. And maybe something sinks into that person. It's never the person you're who's coming at you. It's anybody who's around who you have a chance well, I, of, of doing something for. Collateral success. I, 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 yes. often, I often say that yes. America is not divided in two. We're divided in three. <laughs> there are those of us who get it, who get that the better exists and the exceptional exists. And, and America, for example, is exceptional. And we seek to conserve the exceptional things. That's why we're called conservatives. All the way on the other Thank side you. are the crazy leftists, the, the Rosie O'Donnells about whom you can do nothing. Right. But I think the vast majority of people who still vote Democrat don't vote Democrat. They vote against the Republicans. Okay. Well, All listen, right. we've got to do this again real soon, guys. Uh, three Jews and a German, I think. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> At CPAC? You're done? I'm done. You got, you're you're done? You got that thing. I, I, well, she just walked off, so i got to go catch oh, her. She got nothing. All right. i got to go. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. And appreciate... Uh, <laughs> That was great, man. Uh, appreciate Kurt Schlichter, Tony Katz, and Evan Sayet. You can find them all on Twitter and uh, follow us at Ricochet. You can also follow Whiskey Politics on Facebook, and you can follow me at David Sussman on Twitter. We'll see you all again real soon at Whiskey Politics. All right, where are we going here? Oh, yeah, because Coach got that thing. We got a thing. Is that good? Okay. <laughs>